y'all boys is done, man. So now I'm coming at you with another reaction video, man. So now I reacted to Mike Tyson, the brutal knockouts against monsters, bro. Uh, I'm gonna be real. I don't watch uh I don't watch boxing, bro. Like I'm not I ain't really too big on fighting, bro. Like I, I don't watch like, you know, Floyd Mayweather. That's what I grew up watching, you know what I'm saying? Like pay per views and all that when he first made it pack out, no, that I'm not gonna count. That's probably like the like the last real fight I seen. The last fight I seen was probably Jay Paul. Logan Paul versus uh, Floyd Mayweather, but I turned that off after the first round. But man, Mike Tyson, what's not to say? You know what I'm saying? Like to me, even though I don't watch wrestling, I got Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson. You can name whoever y'all want after. That. Like, bro, I don't, I don't know it. I don't know boxing, so don't come for me about my list, my boy. It's my list. But man, this thing 19 minutes long. I'm tired. I got work tomorrow, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into this video, babe. If you do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what you want me to react to next. Don't forget to follow my Instagram at TV. And let's go ahead and get into the video. From Catskill, New York. And I'm going to pause, bro. Look up the definition of a reaction. I have to pause. He is undefeated with 26 wins, 24 of those wins by the KO round. Bro, uh, wasn't the 80s or the 90s like his thing? Like he was on top of the world? My mm. Tyson slapped my The mama. most expensive she heavyweight fighter, the go. strongest puncher, the best in many other ways. So, right, a count right hand by Mike Tyson is invited. Yeah, that's a, bro, y'all got. In this I'm, video, I'm already, we're going to recall the man. 15 best knockouts performed by Tyson and enjoy every moment. I ain't gonna count. Just get in the ring with him. Mike you, learned his signature style, characterized by We're its speed lose. and explosive sharp blows from Cus D'Amato. This style manifested itself from the beginning of Mike's professional career and was especially evident in the 15 oh. most powerful knockout blows he delivered. One of his early for fights be, is no exception. Bro, for him to be this big and that fast is, bro, that's dangerous. His bout with that's Marvis not... Frazier in 1986. At that time, Marvis was a promising boxer with a record of 16 and one. Everyone expected a legendary spectacle from the fight. Tyson moved his opponent into a corner and delivered a right uppercut, followed by a series of five powerful blows. <laughs> he was done after the first one. This gonna be a 30 minute reaction. He was done after the first uppercut. And bro, what I gotta say, Floyd Mayweather, can he even be, can he go down as the greatest of all time? Cause I seen something was like, Mike Tyson was saying, he picks his fights. Like he don't, like he don't just go out there and be like, somebody say they're the best in the world. He don't go out there and he versus them. I don't, but I don't know. To me, Mike Tyson was, but he killing for Mayweather if there was ever a fight. But I think they like in a whole different weight class. So that's delivered a right uppercut, followed Ooh, by a series of five Tyson. powerful oh my blows. Gosh, bro. Frazier falls, and the referee starts counting. He's sleeping. You seconds. look like me in math class. Frazier falls, and the referee starts counting. He's done. Only thirty seconds have passed from the start of the fight, and Marvis was unconscious. At least you the got referee paid. stops counting. It took several minutes for Frazier to come to his senses. That's it's not without good reason you that this made, hard boy. knockout is called one of the most spectacular in Iron Mike's career. 30 seconds to get knocked out. Give me first your reaction to the fight. On uh, the fight, I was confident. I trained real hard with my trainer, Kevin Rooney, who I owe a great deal to. And I came out, and I was confident. I came out, I knew the fight. I felt the deep moment. I was going to stop him in the first round. Did you know from watching tapes of him that you could hit him with the uppercut? No, that, that's my favorite punch. Um, and, I, and I watched the time, and I knew from my trainer telling me, as he throws his punches, he bends down. And I knew that would be perfect for my uppercut. I planned on working the body more, but I thought opportunity, and it looked too good to go away. But he would be that big. Yeah, talk like that is crazy. In September I even say 1986, that about Mike Tyson entered the ring against Alfonso Ratliff. The fight against Alfonso was the last before Mike's first championship title fight with Trevor Burbick. Tyson quickly figured out his rival, demonstrating the brilliant technique that distinguished him from his early years in the professional ring. After waiting a moment, Mike dodges to the left and throws a powerful left hook into Bro, Ratliff's jaw. El I seen something. This man said, I'm, I'm gonna try not to pause. I'm gonna try to like go five minutes into it. This man said he used to cry or pray or do something before the fight or after the fight. Bro, do you not? 
Bro, just think about it. In the 80s or the 90s, I, I really don't know when it was. It was just on top of the world. But, man, can you imagine just going into the ring with him, knowing what he can do? Bro, you, that's crazy. That's dangerous. The floor. He gets Could up on one me. knee and waits until the referee counts to nine before he stands. Smart man. Mike rushes to finish the fight and shoots a series of eight hits. Ratliff barely escapes in the clinch. After the referee separates the fighters, Tyson begins beating Ratliff near the ropes and ends up finishing him in the second round. In the second round. You last so longer than Buddy. On 30 seconds! You did good, my boy. You did all right. You did better than me. It only take one hit. You did, you all right. You all right. Tyson's strength is both impressive and terrifying. Our yes. next example is the fight with Trevor Burbeck in November of 86. At that time, Trevor was the reigning heavyweight champion of the world. At the end of the first round, Burbeck is on the verge of a knockout. He has already missed several incoming hard punches, but is still on his feet. At the beginning of the second round, Tyson knocks him down and continues the attack with an uppercut to the jaw, then a left hook to the head. But on body shots, Burbeck I'm tries sick. three times to get up, but keeps falling back to the floor. The referee stops the fight. The result is a technical knockout, making Tyson the youngest world heavyweight this champion. This man knocked you out drunk? But on body shot something sick, bro. Bro, my pops hit me with a body shot one time. Oh, oh. Them body shot something serious, bro. Iron Mike is famous for the brutal power he used against his opponents. In the fight with Pinklin Thomas on May 30th, 1987, this was especially noticeable. By this time, Pinklin had only one loss on his record to Take Trevor two. Burbeck, who was defeated by Tyson earlier. The fight began with an explosion of side hits from Mike, Jeez. but Pinklin resisted. Thomas lasted and until the sixth tell, round when Tyson threw a devastating series of uppercuts and hooks with both hands, dropping Thomas to the canvas. It was a brutal and absolute Bro, victory. Tyson, In his autobiography, Tyson later fight. said that he hit Pinklin with everything now. he had, not caring what would happen to him. Mm. But yeah, he was stunned right there, bro. Yeah. There's no way I'll get in the ring with that man, bro. Once and for all was the title listed on the posters about the fateful fight of the two undefeated heavyweight champions, Michael Spinks and Mike Tyson. In 1988, this was perhaps the most but who important did Mike Tyson event in the world against? of professional boxing. I gotta Tickets do a video cost about more that, than $1,500. Man had to be and such celebrities as Madonna, Oprah Winfrey and Sylvester Stallone came Boy, to see the McDonald's spectacle. Bad, the hall you. was full of stars. If he get knocked out the first round in front of Madonna and Oprah, in the middle of the Oprah. first round, Tyson throws an uppercut to the chin using a right hook. Spinks falls. The referee counts to three, and he rises. A powerful left-right combination to the head, and Spinks again is lying Bro, on the canvas. Up. Don't get up. 91 seconds into round one, and the fight is over. He got knocked down. In seconds into round one. I just and told the fight you not to get is over. The fight became not only known for its short duration, At least but look. also for the staggering fees paid to the boxers: At 22 million and 13.5 million dollars. The Are Ring Magazine named this one round fight the fight of the year. The fight of the year, and it was only 30 seconds? Many of Tyson's opponents were knocked out for round. the first time in fights with him. The same happened in the fight with another boxing icon, I know him. Larry Holmes. I know Before him. the start of the fight, Holmes insulted Tyson several times, Ooh. and this did not set well with Tyson. Bro, the way he knocking these grown men out is it's not crazy. set well with Tyson. The way they falling down is ridiculous. Seeing boxing fights, it made me not want to fight. I would never. 
tell you, my first fight was my last fight. During no. the fight, Iron Mike showed animal aggression in all its glory. The fight ended in the fourth round, delivering an extremely humiliating defeat for Holmes, who was knocked down three times. In the end, after the knockout, Larry had an episode of. Hey, why they do that? Isn't that so they won't swallow it like for all people who box or who know stuff about boxing? Why they do that? It's because they won't swallow their tongue. In or the something? end, after the knockout, Larry had an episode had of fainting seizures, right? and shock. He needed a doctor to get up. Larry Holmes subsequently considered this fight his only defeat and called Tyson a real champion. Hey. It's crazy, bro. How did and he tried? He tried to swing, but he tried. I give him that. He tried to swing. The hard way back was the name given to Tyson's fight with Alex Stewart. After suffering a defeat in the fight with Buster Douglas, I know losing Buster his Douglas. title and damaging his reputation. Tyson actively tried to restore both. Wait, he lost him. Damaging him after suffering a defeat in the fight. The name given to Tyson's fight with Alex Stewart. After suffering a defeat in the fight with Buster Douglas. Mike Tyson losing his lost title against Buster Douglas. And damaging his reputation. Tyson actively tried to restore both. And he succeeded. Ten seconds into the fight and Stewart was knocked down with two speedy right punches. He got up bro, on the I'm counter not, I get knocked out in the first 10 seconds. I'm taking that as a sign from God, and I'm going back to the room, bro. I'm going back to the little, what is it, the little break room that they be going in, bro? I'm going back there. I'm walking right out, bro. And he succeeded. As soon Ten as he started singing at me crazy, I'm gone. Because obviously he ain't hit a play. Two I ain't right bust the dozens. You need to take he your frustration out on him. Five and was knocked down again about a minute in. Hey, man, these, rock, hey, these boxes, they, they got hard. I'll be the first to, to walk out. A quick left hook at two and a half minutes marked the third knockdown. Yeah, that's it, bro. With this, Tyson won by a yeah, technical knockout. Another stop. brilliant victory on his way back to the top. How many first knockout? How many first round knockouts is this man gonna have? He just got knocked off that mountain. He just didn't have the style, Jim, unlike Douglas. Bro, I know his head be beaming in the morning, bro. I know they had a something serious. August 1995. Tyson's fighting style had changed. His peekaboo style was replaced with a stronger punch and attack and more caution on approach and defense. Punch. His first successful fight after prison was with Buster Mathis Jr., an I really undefeated did boxer at the time. The start of the fight was rather slow. Buster successfully evaded punches and used dodge and clinch tactics for the first two rounds. Despite this, the third round was completed Buddy, with a series day, 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 day. of two rounds. Despite this, the third round was completed Three. with a series of the strongest uppercuts from Tyson. Mathis fell to the canvas. Hey, bro, the referee you, you counted to ten. A I know. victory by knockout for Tyson. Hey, you last three rounds, buddy. Hey, yeah. Mike, did you did you expect him to come straight at you the way he did? Did you expect him to try and crowd you and walk into your I power? Expect, I expect him to do um, many things. I expect him to move around, run to the do that. And I expect him um, to smother me because he's been very successful. But I'm very familiar with his style of fighting. I was raised, and I'm the best at that style of fighting. I know every move he was making. As I come, when I when I did a couple of particular moves, he was he was. I gotta meet Mike Tyson one day, man. In September 1996, Tyson's fight with Bruce Seldon was one of the shortest heavyweight title fights in boxing history, mm. lasting only one minute and 49 seconds. Uh, Tyson immediately attacked aggressively. Seldon tried to throw like, a flurry of left. Just seeing him coming full speed at you, knowing there's nothing that you can do, that's a scary situation. Tyson immediately scary attacked situation aggressively. Seldon tried to throw a flurry of left jab punches and used his signature That's a scary tactics, thing, but, but you, Tyson it's no easily amount of dodged training the attack. That. They have in the middle of the round, at you. Seldon was knocked down with a left hook, followed immediately by a straight right. Forget the belt, the bro, boxer got up to the count of eight and continued the fight, but was again knocked down by a left hook. 
As soon as you got up, you got knocked back down. Bruce got back to his feet but lost his balance. Referee Richard Steele stopped the fight and awarded Tyson the win by TKO, making him a three-time world heavyweight champion. Man, I'll be mad at my ref, my, my coach. But you see this man doing me in and you ain't throwing in the towel? I'm finna fight you after this. The end of the 90s was not an easy time for Tyson. After a stint in prison and the revocation of his boxing license due to the fight with Holyfield, the frequency of his fights changed. Why About once Holyfield? every six months, he held fights with high-ranking athletes. One of these fights was with Francois Botha. I never heard of him. Mike had been preparing for only a month and a half, apparently underestimating his opponent. Mm. Botha had the advantage during the first four rounds and led over Tyson, who four seemed rounds? to be unsure okay. of himself. Put respect on his Several name. times, the fight went past the bell, and the fighters had to be separated, and points were detracted. Botha began to taunt Tyson, which angered him. Francois yeah, was sure no of his... Boy. Hey, I ain't gonna cap. This man right here, he got a lot of heart. I don't care how up I am. I don't care if I make it to seven rounds. I would never in my life. I'm not taunting this man, bro. I'm not finna taunt him. And he, what, he like 60? He's 60 something? Bro, come on, bro. And, bro, the last fight he did with... Dang, I forgot his name, but I know him. I know him, I, but I forgot his name. Bro, the last fight he did... With the other boxer, like that just happened, I think like a year or two ago, bro. He was taking it easy. You can tell that, though, bro. If 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 Mike Tyson would have not changed, and I think his kids changed his life. If he got kids, if he was the same Mike Tyson, bro, he would have killed that old man, bro. Even though he old too, he would have killed that man. Botha began to taunt Tyson, which angered him. Francois was sure of his victory until. In the fifth round, a short right blow from Tyson sent Botha to the canvas. A brilliant knockout turned the fight around. He tried to help him up too? Turned the fight around. I'm not fighting that man, bro. I'm telling you, my grandma. Oh, January 2000, Tyson fights in Europe. You against the champion of Great Britain, you Julius Francis. You. The European public is sure of Francis's victory, with newspapers even paying huge sums to advertise on Francis's yeah, shoes. Seen him with a However, as is often the case with professional boxing, expectations do not always match reality. Bro, Mike Tyson is killing Floyd Mayweather. I don't care how many the little moves he be doing, he is both. Mike Tyson is killing that man. He trying to take his head off. Bro, it's like I can feel. Julius fell twice during the first round. After a fifth ball, hit the, the referee fight. stopped the fight in the second round. The fight ended with a knockout at 58 seconds in round two. Bro, oh, oh, man. So the farthest somebody made it was round five? That's in mid-2000, a fight with Lou Severis took place, which left a mark in Tyson's record as one of the fastest in his career. Hey, well, this is interesting. Like, I used to be bored watching long videos. This is where Iron Mike's famous aggression God. came into play. Dang, bro. This is where Iron Mike's famous aggression came into play. The fight began with a powerful hook from Tyson, with which he knocked Lou down. Lou got First up, round. but Mike rushed to finish him off. The referee tried to stop the fight, but Tyson got so carried away that he hit the referee in the back of the head. The fighters were separated, and Tyson was awarded victory by a technical knockout. 
says, I'm sorry to the referee. He said, I'm sorry. He didn't hear John Quayle's instructions. Wait, why did they end the fight? Why did they end the fight? Bro was still fighting back. Why they in the fight? Everyone so expected the fight with Polish boxer Andrew Galata to be aggressive, since both fighters were known for rough tactics. Galata was known for low blows, and Tyson for fighting after the bell. Tyson started the fight with his characteristic aggression. Galata made good use of the left jab and his height advantage. In the last 30 seconds, Tyson threw several strong punches, one of which hit the target. Next, Tyson threw several strong punches, one of which hit the target. Next, another powerful right cross, and Galata was on the floor, bleeding from a cut over his left eye. Bro, dumb, bro. I don't care who you, bro, if you're a boxer, bro, I don't care if you just started. I got nothing but respect for you, bro. That's nothing but heart, bro. You, bro, come on, man. Win or After lose, the bro. First just round, to go in that ring, you, you something twice asked his trainer special. to stop the fight. I ain't doing Between the second and third special. rounds, Galata told his corner that he would not continue and began walking around the ring. Despite the encouragement, asked his trainer to stop the fight. <laughs> this would be me. <laughs> this would be me, bro. First 10 seconds in. Mike Tyson hit me one time, bro. Take me out, man. After the first round, Galata twice asked his trainer to stop the fight. Hey, Between the second it, and hey. third rounds, Galata told his corner that he would not continue and began Nigga, walking stop around the me ring. Back, bro. Get off me. Despite the encouragement of his coach and attendants, Galata refused to continue the fight. Hey. After the third bell, the referee raised Tyson's hand. A technical knockout. Spectators were remember- People in the audience throwing stuff at this man. I know for a fact y'all not going out there. No, you're not fighting Mike Tyson, bro. But y'all throwing stuff at this. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. And I be seeing for stuff about boxers like for a long they be time. messed up like after the years of like October fighting. 2001. Another fight outside the U.S. The this fight was with the Danish fighter Brian Nielsen, who was known oh, yeah, as one of the dirtiest it. fighters. Twenty-five thousand spectators came to watch this fight. From the first round, Nielsen was under a hail of blows from Tyson. Man, you should have did some of them dirty blows. Oh, <laughs> this man looked up the hill. <laughs> like, nigga, did you really just knock me out? <laughs> nigga, did you really just knock me out in front of my mom? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you disrespectful, boy. Let, let me let me catch my brother. <laughs> in the third round, hey, Tyson hit Nielsen bro. below the belt, clearly causing him Wait, a great... In the third round, Tyson oh. hit Nielsen below the belt, yeah, clearly that. causing him great pain. The fight resumed, but the situation did not change. And after the sixth round, Nielsen refused to continue the fight. An impressive fee of 13 million and a technical knockout again. I like to how they show respect Mike. to each other, bro. I like that. Like they know it's just, you know what I'm saying? It's their job. I like that. The last knockout in Tyson's professional career was in a fight with Clifford Etienne on February 22nd, 2003. Etienne at the time was one of the most spectacular boxers of the early 2000s, according to The Ring. There were rumors about Tyson's poor physical fitness and reporters were constantly looking for new gossip. The fight was one of the shortest held by Tyson. After a rather slow start, he threw a right hook that knocked oh Clifford my, to the he floor. This After nigga a rather away. slow start, he threw a right hook that knocked Clifford to the floor. The referee counted to 10, but Etienne was still heat, on the floor. Bro. At 49 seconds of the heat first round, the ball, Etienne one, was knocked out, concluding Mike's legendary knockouts. Mike Tyson! And he probably gave Bruce some device or something. Like, yeah, he a real man. 
Tyson is an impressive and intimidating fighter. Nice. He received the title of the cruelest fighter for a reason, hey. and it's easy to see why after what we have witnessed today. What do you think of the boxing legend? Please let us know in the comments, hey, and man. don't forget to give us... To me, bro, he taught, bro. Top two, bro. It's, it's, it's Muhammad Ali and then it's Mike Tyson. I ain't even seen the other fighters, bro. But y'all boys, y'all boys, uh, give me something. And I'm going to react to them. I might have to react to some Floyd Mayweather highlights, but I I seen it, bro. Floyd Mayweather, he not beating Muhammad Ali, and he for sure not beating Mike Tyson. I don't care what he say. I don't care if Floyd Mayweather was bigger. He's not, he not messing with this man. But man, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what you want me to react to next. Don't forget to follow my Instagram at tv.dub. Yeah, man. I'm out.